Hello and welcome to Look East in the programme tonight. Preparing to live the dream after scooping a whopping 32 million on the lottery. Cambridge is one of the top 12 cities in the UK for video game production. The industry is now estimated. Tom Osborne wrote to the Chief Constable of Bedfordshire Police to recommend... These figures are by local authority, so do mask good and bad schools. All are pretty close to the national average. New council housing scheme. Homes, shops and community buildings are all being redeveloped, but Mr... The route which runs through Kettering and Bedford was due to be electrified to be held at Stadium MK over the next few days. The next is coming up on Saturday. I encourage us all to pick up a book before we go to bed. And here's why. Government figures show that one in six... Vivian Neal tweeted us saying this really is worrying. 2025 as a deadline is too late. And Catherine Lowe is suggesting that congestion is down to poor road layout. Next tonight, the challenge facing many of our councils as plans to bring hundreds of Syrian refugees to the region are underway. Last December, Cambridge, Colchester and Bedford were the first three places in the East. Ancient Egyptians were buried open today in Cambridge. It's entitled Death on the Nile and is staged at the Fitzwilliam Museum. Its experts are doctors. Junior doctors are those below consultant level and they represent a third of the medical workforce. So why are they striking? A £40 million boost for new drugs. A new research fund will be based in Hertfordshire. Well, sport now and gymnast Brim Bevan says he's not given up hope of representing Britain at the Olympic Games in Rio next year. The 18 year The partner of children's author Helen Bailey has appeared in court via video link today. Now, a police station where a man died in custody from a drugs overdose has started to... Well, next, Milton Keynes next year will celebrate its 50th birthday since 1967. The top 100 most influential people in UK theatre has just been released and two men from this region...